My lab is interested in the role of micro and nanoscale technologies, what people call the tiny technologies, in medicine in general. And our focus areas are in cancer and in liver disease. I was always really fascinated with the idea that these tools have been developed by engineers largely to drive the computer revolution, um, these miniaturization tools, and they might be extremely powerful and potentially leveraged for applications in medicine. Gold nanomaterials have the property that depending on their shape, they can be excited by different colors of light. We were interested in a particular kind of gold nanomaterial called gold nanorods. When we use these materials, we've shown that we can heat them up very efficiently with near-infrared lasers inside living tissue. We are working on ovarian cancer with Michael Beerer at the MGH, and ovarian cancer at the moment sadly has a very dismal prognosis. One of the main challenges in treating ovarian cancer is getting the chemotherapy to work effectively in the tumors. So when you give chemotherapy, often what happens is that it kills all the cells that it sees, but it can't get very far into the tumor. So we've been interested in delivering nanomaterials that would act like antenna for light. And once they get into the tumor and we shine light on them, they can make the tumor more, what we call more permeable. And the chemotherapy can penetrate further and be more effective and kill those hard to reach cells. If we heat them up a little bit more, they will cause a local injury and trigger clotting. And we can actually use that clotting to recruit other nanoparticles that carry a drug payload. So in that way, we get nanoparticles that cooperate by using the gold nanorods as kind of a signal. Being in the Koch Institute for us is a real accelerator because we get access to tools that otherwise would take months we often know the key experiment that we'd like to do or the key piece of equipment that we need access to, and now everything is just here in the building. We don't have to even go outside, so we're only limited by our own imagination.